Hey, greetings everyone. This is just a follow-up on my uh, first rain barrel uh, video I did. We got blessed with a little bit of modest rain last night, and we did get some water in the barrel. As you can see, we're up about uh, just a little bit under half, about 30 gallons in here. Before the rain last night, the water was down, uh, down below this line here, so that's pretty decent. I'm also impressed with the flow here. Pretty good, powerful flow. Not bad. Pretty impressed with that. Took a few gallons per minute. I'll just give you a little close-up of some of the details of the piping that you might not have seen the other day. This is the square rain spout adapter. This is for the three-inch pipe. They also have one for the larger four-inch. And this goes down into the sewer drain pipe here. And this is an adapter. This will get you into your standard size uh, drain waste vent pipe that you find inside your house. Then we go down. You get this Y here. This allows us to bring the two inch back up and of course go into the top of the barrel through the bung here. And as we noted before, this bung has a standard two inch MPT threading on it. Unfortunately, as we noted before, this side does not have that standard threading, but it does have the uh, female thread inside the bung. It allowed me to put this three-quarter inch male adapter in there to get a bit of a drain. I'm not sure, like we said before, if this is going to be adequate draining. Depending on how much rain we get coming into this thing, only time will tell. As soon as we get a good heavy rain, this thing fills up, I'll be able to do some analysis. If not, what I thought I might do is over here, near the top, so I'll put one of these... Uh, Y adapters like this up the top except inverted so if it gets to the point where the pipe is full and the drain over here can't handle it it'll basically overflow out the side here and come down and we can route the pipe to a safe location. And at the bottom this is just a 12 inch piece of 3 inch coming down and then there's a clean out adapter down here underneath there's a, a cap which can be unscrewed to clean out the debris also, this whole pipe probably holds, I'd have to estimate, three, four gallons of water when it's full, so it got pretty heavy. So I put these three bricks underneath it to give a little bit of support, because basically the only thing holding this whole thing up is I've got these two stainless steel screws on either side of this into this thin aluminum uh, downspout, so I guess there is a possibility it could have ripped that aluminum out and crashed to the ground one day without the support underneath. Okay. Oh, that's right. One last thing here. Next time I get to the store, I'm going to pick up a, a two-inch union to allow this thing to be unscrewed, disconnected, should they ever want to change out the barrel or do some maintenance or whatever. Okay, that's it for this update.